it's about 20 miles per hour winds at the moment and this flew like there was just no wind there I was thinking oh, I'm never going to be able to get any decent footage but it was smooth it looks really smooth on the control anyway Well, I'm really pleased how that went. Um, it was about, um, oh, stop my watch. It was about uh, just over a kilometre's walk down to the giant man from where I'm camping in the woods here. Okay, well, that's me all packed away. I'm already tired, I've only just, <laughs> although I got up about four to get ready to charge the batteries and go to do the droning, so. If you want to get uh, sunrise this, this time of year, you've got to get up and prepare yourself really early. Because it's almost at mid-summer solstice now. And that's where I'm heading, Avebury, for summer solstice 2022 on this uh, Ridgeway walk. I saw my rubbish picked up, no, no trace left behind. Can't see anything. So, I'm going to get on my way. So the last two days I've done just over 30 kilometres a day. The first day I just did over 10 kilometres and I aim to do more than 30 kilometres again today. So not that far from the campsite now um, where I was thinking of staying. As I said I'll put a link up in the description for it. But I just couldn't afford to stay there on this occasion, so I camped in the trees. Actually, it's a little bit closer to the um, giant man anyway. It's the name of the campsite if you want to stay here. It's got a phone number there, and there is a website as well. Well, the actual ridgeway goes through here. I'm trying to figure out which way I've got to go. There is camping here as well, but there's some caravans, but I saw some tents. And this is actually, I'm filming this from the Ridgeway actual path, Wessex Ridgeway path, which carries on along here. It's, I think it's going to be a lot more farm walking today. Uh, I'm very surprised to see a field that hasn't got lots of, lots of wildflowers. That's where I come from. It's not always possible to film the landscape because the light in the, the footage just won't come out because the light, the light is shining the wrong way. Ah, stung a lot. Ah, it's that time of year. Ah, can it? Ah, you. Oh, oh man, ah oh, Jesus, oh. Oh, I don't know what they felt uh, farming down there, but that's where I just come from down that route down that hill over there. Well, it's not, I don't, it's not as far as I thought to the next shop, but after the next one. I think it could be quite, it could be two days away from the next shop. There's so much chalk around here. Right, it's way more chalker than the Widge, Widgeway in uh, Wiltshire. I see a lot of these are walking up these high hills, communication aerials. I think that's some kind of microwave relay dish up there. Now we've got the Wessex Ridgeway farm walks, which shot, well, I'm on the Wessex way obviously, and the Hardy's way. So just stopping for a rest and a banana under this tree and it just happens to be at the right time in the shade by the little seat 
by the tree. So that's quite an impressive water tank for the animals. Doesn't look very old. Just come from up there and now I'm going up here. Considering this isn't a national trail, just a regular long distance trail, um, it's not too overgrown actually. Okay, I took a wrong turn, I've got to go back onto the track. <laughs> this is the wrong way. Or well, back on the uh, back on the track, back on the ridgeway, Wessex Ridgeway. So just here's called Cross Dyke, but I don't see any dikes. Or oh, I might see one actually, some earthworks. I think there's remains of a Roman fort, which possibly I can see. So maybe I'll send the drone up. So just walking down a overgrown four-wheel drive track now. A four-wheel drive track that clearly hasn't had any vehicles come down in a very long time. That's nice along here. It's like an old driver's track. Well, it's really hot again. It's going to be like this all day. Dorset Eco Retreats. That's nice. So got like troughs with flowers in or something plants in around the tree. I what's so special about that tree? It's too low to be a seat. There's another one of them troughs. Another nice shaded walk. There's a lot of shade on this uh, trail actually. It's so, so hot at the moment. Uh, just walking up to a hill fort at the moment. Well, this is the hottest I've hiked in for some time, I can tell you. It feels like actually hiking in it, it feels like 30 Celsius, like being in a greenhouse, it's that hot. There's no trail here, but this is where, according to the map, the trail is going. Eva. The route has changed, well, not many people walk up this way, but you'd think because it's a long distance walk, there's a few coming up here. God, this heat really is insane now. I hope there's some trees again soon. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts, man. I can't see anyone else being up at this fort today. It's just too hot, mate. I've only seen Four bicyclers today. Well, that's what I just walked up. 
and it is so hot. Well, I'm just walking to the side of the fort at the moment. It's quite windy, but I'm gonna give the drone a go because it handled the wind earlier on really well. that the views are incredible from here this part of the Wessex Ridgeway absolutely incredible wonder where all that is over there ah uh, look at that some of the best views I think so far there has been some really good views but most of the time you can't film them because uh, the light conditions are wrong or the lights facing the wrong way but today it's not too bad it's not perfect Maybe it used to be a baker's here. Looks like that's long gone. That cannot be a cell phone aerial, surely. It's right next to the path and it's really, it's not very high up. Back on a path, off the track, off the track again. Looks like there's some people coming up here now. So a few people aren't about on this part of the track. Not even halfway yet. I just looked at the map. The whole trail is 220 kilometers long, I think. I've done at the end of today, I should have done 100 kilometers, I think. I'm trying to aim for about 30 kilometers a day. Well, I can see a fort in front of me where I'm thinking of camping tonight and it's possibly going to be 30 kilometres, maybe a bit less. Without doubt this hill I'm coming down now had the best, this part of the ridge had the best uh, views so far on the uh, Wessex Ridgeway I'd say. I think the next village is called Shillington and um, it has a pretty big co-op. So I'll be restocking there, but there might not be another shop for two, at least two days. Well, I'm at a picnic area if you want to please pause that and uh, read it. Definitely a very nice part of the Ridgeway. So I reckon this trail should take me eight days to complete. So at a trick point. The Wessex Ridgeway here comes out and goes back in. Well, I could just go along there, but I'm guessing there must be some kind of view or it's for this. But I'm going to follow it. I'm not going to take the shortcut. I want to stick to the route as much as possible. So. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit weird, I just thought I'd say. But, not much of a view from this trick point, to be honest. It's just all, there's a crop field, surprisingly, behind me, instead of wild flowers. That's a pretty rare occurrence. It's like the sea, isn't it? Look at that. How cool is that? I love that. So today's uh, part of Wessex Ridgeway has been the busiest so far. Of course I've got no cash on me, I've just got my cards. I should have bought um, some pound coins for the uh, shopping trolleys. Because I need to stick my bag in the shopping trolley and I walk around them. But I'm going to have to lug it around me in the supermarket, that's so annoying. So that's the name of the town there.
Rubbish time. Put the whole bag in there. So I've got to walk all the way to um, the co-op, which is one and a half kilometres off trail. Heavy nest. Oh man, oh. There is there is a shop here at the garage, but um, I reckon the co-op's going to be way cheaper than this. Uh, Lifestyle Express. I've never even heard of Lifestyle Express. Have you? On the positive side, I'm getting to see the whole of this uh, village. And how old that is. Please tell me this shop is open. Why is it not looking very open? Oh shit, I'm going to get one over. See, this is really annoying. I need to. Oh no. That's okay. Square, I've been to this place before and I've been to this shop here, but I didn't notice it on the way up to the co op. Well, I am leaving the village now and I'm heading it up towards the fort, and I think that's where I'm going to camp, to be honest. Probably should check the weather forecast for Thunder, shouldn't I, if I'm going to camp at the top. So this is where I'm heading, under this disused railway bridge. I think it might be a cycle track now. I don't know if you can see that. That's the fort I'm thinking of camping up at tonight. I've got to walk to it this way around. I've got to go for a farm first. This looks like a big old footbridge. Gonna take me and my bag weight. Soon gonna find out. Pleasant walk along the river here. Well, it's another walk in my favourite types of path. <laughs> if it's all well, actually, it's not that bad actually. Yeah, I didn't want to get there too early because I, I don't know if there's any hidden spots up there to camp so the later it is the better really Whew. that's better I reckon this is an electric uh, gate. It doesn't look it, does it? That's just a bit of string. So this is where I'm thinking of camping up tonight, Humble Hill. So that's where I just walked up from down there. And the fort I'm going to is over there. I'm looking where to camp. There's too many people can see up here. I don't want to put my tent here. Look, there's just there's so many buildings down there. And there uh, are cows in the uh, fort. And there's the fort over there. I think we could get up early in the morning. Maybe get some drone footage of it. It doesn't look like there's going to be a sunset really at the moment, does it? In true Richard fashion, I've decided I'm going to carry on. <laughs> carry on, uh, find another spot because the spots in the woods are too sloped, too many flies. So carry on up here. Oh, another one. I've got to the trick point. I'm actually thinking about camping here, but there's a um, crop field just right behind us, open, where the farmer can just come through here.
Well, there are plenty of places to camp around here. Um, but there's cattle, will I see any problem? So tonight I'll be camping on uh, Humble Hill Fort, I guess it's called. Well, I've got the tents up. Sun's come out now, so there might be a sunset. Oh, I am so knackered. There's no wind, so it's perfect drone weather. The moon looks like it's almost full, so it's not going to be a dark night, and it's supposed to be clear tonight, which means it's going to be cold. <laughs> 